On Sunday, August the 3rd, we celebrated the centenary of the tennis club. We're not exactly sure when it be- the club began, but the earliest records date back to 1914. Members and their friends were invited to the club to take part in the celebrations. Over 60 turned up. Beth and B did a great job organising the food and drink. Amongst the entertainments of croquet, a bouncy castle, a service speed gun, and social tennis. Optional period tennis dress and wooden rackets were suggested and a number of players took up the challenge. In this match they even used white tennis balls. The wooden rackets were a reminder of how powerful modern rackets have become. The chairman, David Buckle, addressed the gathering. The All England Club wrote to us congratulating us on our centenary. <laughs> but they have invited us to a centenary match. Um, and at that centenary match, they've asked for our best man and our best woman and a deserving pair. A uh, deserving person for, um, in our women's, uh, from our women's section is Sally Cullen. So, Craig, we'd like you to join. Well done on winning. Um, there wasn't a great deal of debate or contention around the best woman. So, Catherine, where are you? The best man was to be decided by a playoff between Ole and David after the celebration came. This is Ole Anderson, the current club champion. His opponent is David Zones, the A-team captain. It was not to be Ole's day. He seemed to lack his usual killer punch. Whatever he did, David seemed to have an answer for it. Oh, no. Victory for David was sealed by a, a final Unforced error by Ole. Here's the final lineup for Wimbledon. I wanted to get a Wimbledon so I could be like Roger. I've got his T-shirt. David Soans, Catherine Shuttlin, Sally Cullen, and Craig Emerson Smith.